I have always hated talking to strangers. From when I was 13 years old and I had so much social anxiety that I didn't even go to school if my only... My best and only friend wasn't there. I am an introvert, so I can spend days and days at home without meeting and talking to anyone. And I live in Sweden, which is a country where the culture is basically that you don't talk to people that you don't know. But now at 30 years old, I can finally go to a company event or mingle or a party without knowing anyone there and actually enjoy it. So what changed? I learned three simple things. So firstly, how to start a conversation with someone so that you don't have to stand awkwardly alone in a corner anymore. Secondly, how to keep a good conversation running so that you never run out of topics to talk about. And lastly, I learned some really good strategies for how to make it enjoyable even as an introvert. And I will share everything I've learned with you in this video today so that social settings will never stop you ever again. But first, why do we even have to be at networking events and parties and mingles and that type of thing? Can't we just stay at home? Well, unfortunately, you shouldn't. You can, but you shouldn't. Numerous studies have shown that social connection and strong social networks are associated with increased longevity. People with strong social ties tend to live longer, healthier lives than those who are socially isolated. However, you could just hang out with people that you already know deeply, like your friends and family, so why do we even need to meet strangers? Research shows that a significant portion of job opportunities, so that is 70%, are not publicly advertised on job websites. Instead, up to 80% of job opportunities are filled through their personal and professional network. And this is not your usually closest friends and families. These are people that you have previously worked with, people that you met at events, people you've gotten to know through your business relationships and at these types of events where you don't know someone from the beginning, but you have to get to know them. And having a broad network doesn't only help you get the job that you want, it also helps you increase your chances of getting what you want in life. So for example, helping you with sales when you start your new company, finding an acquaintance who loves pottery as much as you do, or finding that mentor who can guide you in your decisions. But if getting to know new people and gaining a broad network is so good, why is it so difficult to talk to new people? Imagine that you're going to a networking event or a party and you don't know anyone there. So you know you will be alone at this event and if you don't find anyone to talk to, you will be standing there by yourself in the corner as an awkward person not talking to anyone. Just the thought of this might make someone say no to the event, forget about it and move on with their lives. But we don't want that, we want to get what we want in life and maybe that is going to that event or going to that party and meet those people. And it doesn't have to be that difficult. The only two things you really know is a little bit of courage and a first opening line to say to someone when you first meet them. And it doesn't have to be a good opening line. I've seen so many weird opening lines. It doesn't have to be a good one, you just have to say it. I put a few opening lines on the screen they are quite a broad topic because it always depends on the situation. But memorize a few of these and it will make it so much easier for you when you need to strike up a conversation with someone new. When I approach someone I don't know, like for example at the Mingle event where people are flocked around these different tables, I usually <laughs> go pick a table where it seems like it can fit me and then I usually go there and just say a lame, hey guys, can I join you? It's not something fancy, it's just, hey, can I join you? And usually people are very accommodating and are nodding and be like, yeah, sure, join us. I have seen posts and stuff about these really out there opening statements like, what are your passions in life? Or if you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? But come on, if you're already uncomfortable, it's a bit of a new social setting, maybe you're a bit nervous, you don't want to be even more out there, so let's just stick to something that we're all comfortable with that you would use in a normal conversation with anyone. People always joke that the Swedes always talk about the weather, but I mean, it's not bad to talk about the weather. Like, it's a good conversation starter, and then you can move into the more interesting questions later. Okay, so now that we have done this initial contact, how do we move this from awkward small talk to an interesting constructive conversation? The first step of enjoying a conversation is to have a conversation where you don't feel like you've run out of topics. The conversation 
kind of moves on by itself almost. And there are some good things to think about in order to have a good conversation. And the first thing is to let the other person talk a lot because people can talk about themselves for so long. My second tip is that when you ask questions, try to ask open-ended questions instead of closed questions. So instead of asking, do you like it here? Which could easily just give a response of, yeah, it's nice. What do you say to that? No, it's difficult. Instead, you can rather ask, what did you think about the last speaker? That way they have to come up with a more thoughtful answer and it will be longer and there will be more things for you to continue the discussion based off of. The same goes for you when you talk. So instead of giving short answers, try to give a bit of a broader answer with a bit more flavor. So for example, if someone asks you what you do for work, instead of just saying, yeah, I'm a project manager. Instead, you can say something like, yeah, I'm a project manager within IT for company XYZ. And my current project, we're working on actually implementing an IT solution for handheld scanning devices in the grocery stores. Which one of these answers do you think brings up the most interesting follow-up questions and continues the discussion more easily? The big thing that you should do is to find something that you and the other person have in common. Something that you both are passionate about. Maybe you both love dogs. Maybe you have a common interest. Maybe you both cheer for the same football team. Maybe you're both new at your job. Maybe both of you have the same challenges in your job. Maybe you both grew up in the same town. When you get into topics that you both love talking about and that you're both interested in, the conversation would run a lot smoother and you will get to know the person better. And in addition, you get a reason for why you might want to catch up later. While having a conversation is fine, how can we move it from anxiety-inducing small talk with strangers to something that is actually quite enjoyable? Well, first of all, I don't think that anyone finds it enjoyable to go to a party or an event where you don't know anyone, where you don't know what the setting is like and where everything is just a big question mark. But where I want everyone to reach is that you can go to that event even though it might feel a bit scary in the beginning, be there, enjoy your conversations, have a good time. Even though you didn't know anyone from the beginning, you have made a lot of new connections and you can go home and talk to your spouse about the interesting and motivated people that you met at this event. And if you're an introvert, it might not give you the same energy as it does with an extrovert, but it can still give you a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation, maybe a new connection that you can explore in the future. And you yourself can make it a lot more enjoyable to talk to all of these new people, whether it's in, at a mingle or at the bus or at a party. So what you need to do is that you need to become good at the basics. So you need to become good at like approaching people, doing that opening statement and keeping a conversation going. And when that becomes automatic and quite natural for you in any setting, then it's time for step two. You need to find a reason for why you are there. What is your reason for wanting to connect? Because that is what will make it enjoyable for you. So for me, I basically have two different reasons that I really like to connect with new people for. So the first is that I love learning. Like it's one of my, it's one of the pillars of my life, learning new things. I'm really curious and want to know everything about everything and everyone. And the second of all is that I'm quite a passionate person, if you can say that. I really enjoy to dive deep into things and like really follow my passion and really enjoy what I'm doing. And so I really love talking to people who have found their passion in life or whatever it is that they enjoy doing. Those types of conversation gives me so much energy, so much inspiration and motivation and a lot of new ideas. So because I love learning and I love talking to people about their passions, that is what I try to do in all conversations with any new people I meet. And it could be something completely different for you, but I think from a learning perspective and being open and seeing new things, trying out new ideas, all of that, that is really one of the things that you can gain from talking to new people that you really don't know, that might have very different perspectives than you do. And this mindset that I have adopted from going from that all conversations and meeting new people is scary and uncomfortable to, 
what can I learn from talking to this person? What can I learn about them? What can I take with me? What can I, what can I help them with? That's what made it so enjoyable for me to have all of those conversations. However, just watching this video from home about how to learn to talk to anyone will not change anything. You need to go out in the real world and talk to people. To help you on your way, the next thing you need to do is that you need to set up a clear personal development plan which will help you on your way. It will bring you towards your goals step by step and you can find more information about it in this next video.